something we all enjoy about staying for dinner. The ever why? It's because eating with others is fun. People like to come together at mealtime. They enjoy each other's company while they're enjoying good food. Mealtime is fun for Frank. And it's fun for Judy, too. But it's different with Ralph. Will you have some peas, Ralph? Gosh, Mrs. Scott, I don't like peas. Oh, that's too bad. Well, how about a baked potato, then? Well, okay. Gee, Ralph, why aren't you eating? Remember that picture we saw? What picture? The picture with the hand and the five groups of food. Oh, that was just schoolwork. No, Ralph isn't enjoying his dinner much. Maybe it's because of that candy bar he had just before dinner. Whatever it is, Ralph's good time with Frank and Judy is spoiled. The next day is Saturday, and Ralph's tired. But Frank and Judy feel differently. We're going skating today. Can Ralph come with us? Well, I don't know. I think he's still in his room. Just a moment. Let me see. Ralph, Frank and Judy are here and want you to go skating with them. Hi, Frank. Hi, Judy. Hi. Can you go skating with us outside? It's just right. I don't feel like going skating. Thanks, anyway. Oh, well. Okay. That's too bad. Maybe he can go tomorrow. Good. Bye, kid. Bye. Bye. That's how it's been for quite some time. Ralph just hasn't had the pep that he should have. And now, Ralph begins to wonder why. Maybe there was something more in last week's classwork than he had thought. That hand, for instance, that his teacher had drawn. Five fingers that point the way to health. What was it now? Bread and butter or margarine, milk and cheese, meat and eggs, vegetables, and fruits. Those are the foods you should eat every day if you want to be healthy. The first one, bread and butter or margarine, reminds him of Kenneth. Why? Because those are energy foods, and Kenneth has the most energy in class. Whole grain breads, like whole wheat and rye, are especially good for you. If you do eat white bread, make sure it's enriched. Enriched bread has vitamins added to it. Cereals give the same kind of energy and health values that bread does, especially whole wheat cereals and oatmeal. Butter and margarine contain fats. They give you energy in a different way from breads and cereals. Butter and fortified margarine have vitamin A in them, which is necessary to good health. The second finger that points to health represents milk and cheese. And somehow, they remind Ralph of the tallest children in class. That's because milk and cheese help the body grow. Milk is about the most perfect food there is. A glass full at every meal is good for you. And with one more, that makes a quart a day. Vitamin D milk helps build strong bones and teeth. And Ralph has decided that it must be lots of milk which has given Linda such a bright smile. Cheese is a bodybuilder, too, and there are many kinds to choose from. The third finger represents meat and eggs. And Ralph thinks of George right away, because he's the huskiest and the strongest boy in class. Meat and eggs help the body grow and make it strong. Meat is good for you, and there are many kinds. There's beef, there's pork and ham, there's lamb, fish is good, and so is chicken and other poultry. An egg a day is good for you too. Boiled, fried, scrambled, poached, or any way. Meats and eggs are high in protein which helps build red blood and strong muscles. The fourth finger, pointing the way to health, represents vegetables. And here Ralph thinks of several children in his class.
for there are many kinds of vegetables. Potatoes, for instance, are an energy food, and baked potatoes eaten with their skins and butter or margarine have lots of vitamins and minerals, too. When it comes to green and yellow vegetables, Ralph thinks of Wendy, the prettiest girl in the class. And there are so many different kinds. Green vegetables like string beans, asparagus, and broccoli. There are salad vegetables like lettuce, and many others like celery, radishes, and carrots. Carrots are good cooked, too. And so is squash and other yellow vegetables like rutabaga. Cauliflower and cabbage are good, too. Yes, there are hundreds of wonderful vegetables. The important thing is that all kinds of vegetables are good for you, whether they're raw or cooked. They're important for good health, for lots of energy and pep, for clear skin and bright eyes, for shining, gleaming hair, and above all, for that wonderful sense of feeling good. The last finger represents fruit, and there are two kinds. Some are especially rich in vitamin C and help ward off some of the diseases that keep you in bed. They help cuts and bruises heal faster, too. Foods with lots of vitamin C in them include orange juice, grapefruit, strawberries, melons, and, of course, whole oranges. Certain vegetables, like tomatoes and raw cabbage, are also rich in vitamin C. You should have a vitamin C food every day, for vitamin C isn't stored in the body very long. Finally, there are the fruits we eat for dessert. Wonderful fruits like apples, bananas, peaches, pears, plums, grapes, and many others. Nuts make a good dessert, too. They're rich in energy, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. And now, as Ralph thinks about it, he realizes that each of the children he admires depend on all the foods for their health and not on just one food. George is strong, Wendy is pretty, Linda has a bright smile, and Kenneth has lots of pep, not because of any one food that they eat, but because they eat some of all kinds of food. For it takes five fingers to point the way to healthful eating habits. And Ralph goes over them in his mind. Every day, eat bread and butter, milk and cheese, meat and eggs, vegetables, fruits, and a vitamin C food. Thinking about all this food has made him hungry. He has a candy bar around, as usual. But now, Ralph has a better idea of why he shouldn't let candy and sweets substitute for other foods. Sweets don't have the proteins, the vitamins, or the minerals, the bodybuilding qualities of other foods. So, for the next few months, Ralph really worked at learning to eat all kinds of foods. Ralph, would you like some tea? Oh, I don't want... Well... Okay. Well, what happened to you? He'd sample everything that was served to him. And even if it didn't happen to be a food that he preferred, he'd eat some of it anyway. At night, he'd go over the five food groups and see how he had done that day. After a month or two of this, Ralph suddenly realized that a slow change had taken place without his noticing it. He found that eating had become fun. What's more, his health was better, and he had more pep. He had more fun than he used to, and more friends. And all because he had learned to eat by counting his foods on his fingers.